Details about yesterday's crash in Imperial County that killed 13 people. The Border Patrol now says they were part of a larger smuggling operation involving at least 44 people. As ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala explains, they reportedly got into the country through a hole cut in the border fence. It's a desperate situation and sadly people are dying every day. We're learning more about Tuesday's devastating crash in Imperial County that claimed the lives of 13 people believed to have entered the U.S. from Mexico. According to U.S. Border Patrol, the crash is being investigated as part of a migrant smuggling operation. Authorities provided a timeline Wednesday saying just after 6 a.m. Tuesday, surveillance video appeared to show the Maroon Ford Expedition involved and a Chevy Suburban driving near this 10-foot hole in a border fence near the Gordon's Well exit in Schneider's Bridge area. Somehow, the Suburban caught on fire shortly after. At about 6.30, 19 migrants were found by Border Patrol agents hiding in nearby brush. Less than 30 minutes Minutes later, Border Patrol officials say they were requested to help with the crash. The expedition, carrying 25 people while only equipped with two seats, entered an intersection directly in front of a tractor trailer on Highway 115 and Norris Road, killing the 13 people and injuring everyone else, including the driver of the tractor trailer, a resident of El Centro. We need humane immigration policies. That way you don't have these people crowded into a car getting killed in this horrific accident. At Chicano Park Wednesday, San Diegans held a moment of silence honoring the lives of those killed. These were human beings looking for a better life, risking it all, and tragically dying. In a statement from Border Patrol, El Centro Sector Chief Patrol Agent Gregory Bovino said in part, Human smugglers have proven time and again they have little regard for human life. Those who may be contemplating crossing the border illegally should pause to think of the dangers that all too often end in tragedy. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. The survivors were taken to different area hospitals after the crash. Two were taken to Scripps Mercy here in San Diego and four are at UCSD Health. They were in serious condition receiving care for a variety of traumatic injuries.